By now, I'm sure you know what AI generative fill can do for your static video clips like this one. Sure, we can change the surrounding environments, but if I'm being honest, I'm not sure these tripod shots are fooling anyone. So here are four ways you can really bring your AI generated videos to life to go from this to this. Now, a special thank you to today's sponsor, Motion Elements, but more about that in a moment. Now, the first thing we can do to bring our AI generated videos to life is motion track our AI generations to moving footage. So for example, I have this video of this photographer here shooting a landscape, but I want to add a tall building in the distance using AI. So I have my clip in my Premiere Pro sequence and the playhead at the very beginning. I'm gonna export that very first frame and save it as a TIFF file. From there, I'm gonna open up the exported frame in Photoshop. Now make sure you have the most recent version of Photoshop so you have the AI capabilities. So from here, I can use my lasso tool to decide where I want to add my AI generation. Now, once I'm happy with my AI building, I'm going to save this as a PSD file. Next, I'm going to open up my video footage and Photoshop file in an After Effects composition. Just make sure your Photoshop file is on the layer above your video footage in your After Effects composition. Now mask around the AI generated building to reveal the video footage underneath. Now with your video clip selected, go to your tracker tab and hit track motion. Next, make sure position and rotation are selected. Now take each one of your tracking points and put them over an individual high contrasted area of your clip, preferably one on each side of your frame. We're going to use these to track the motion of our video footage. Now the fun part, hit analyze forward and let After Effects work its magic. Now create a new null object above all your other layers. Hit edit target, select the null object we just created and hit apply and apply to X and Y dimensions. Now with the playhead at the start of our composition, we're gonna take the pick whip tool from our AI generation layer and parent it to our null object. Finally, if your AI generation goes behind your subject like this, just rotoscope out your subject and make sure it's above all the other layers. The next thing you can do to really bring your AI generated videos to life is adding moving elements to the scene. For the opening example of this video, I use this method in two ways. I added additional snow in the foreground and added a flock of birds subtly in the background. Simple details like this really help sell the effect that much further. Let me show you how. So for the snow, I simply opened up my clip in After Effects and searched for the CC snowfall effect. Now this effect is pretty good right out the gate, but play around with the parameters to get the desired look you're going for. And for the flock of birds, I simply found a green screen asset online, removed the green and masked it into my scene directly in Premiere Pro. Now make sure not to go too crazy with this step as it can become overkill quick. Now off the top of my head, a few other moving element ideas I could have incorporated are some breath from when I'm talking because it's cold outside and also some smoke from above the chimney, I think would have worked well. It's all about finding realistic elements that can really sell the effect. Now, the third thing we can do to really bring our AI generated videos to life is add some believable sound design. For the opening example in this video, I used a subtle sound effect of a flock of birds flying in the distance, as well as a snowy atmospheric sound to give the illusion that there was flurries going on when in reality, it wasn't snowing at all. Think about if you were physically in the environment that you generated, what would it sound like? What would it feel like around you? Those are the kind of things I want you to think about. And from there, we can start to find the right sound effects to match what we've created, which brings me to today's sponsor, Motion Elements. Motion Elements is gonna be your one-stop shop for royalty-free stock footage, sound effects, music, templates, and more. If you're a video editor, filmmaker, or content creator, and you're not using Motion Elements, then you're seriously missing out. I can easily search from over 260,000 royalty-free sound effects to spice up my next edit, and that's just the start. They also have stock footage, music, and pre-built templates for some of today's most popular softwares. And the best part is they have free options as well as paid options, so no matter your budget, Motion Elements has you covered. Hit the link in the description for 70% off your first month when you sign up for an unlimited subscription plan at motionelements.com. Now, last but certainly not least, the last thing I do to bring my AI generated videos to life is add a simple handheld effect. Now we could create one from scratch using the transform tool and a bunch of keyframes, but there are so many good ones online. I personally use cinecom.nets. They released a free one a few years ago and it still holds up today. Once we download and install that into Premiere Pro, it's as easy as finding the handheld effect we want and dragging and dropping it onto our clip. This is just gonna subtly trick the viewer's eyes into believing it's that much realer. They probably won't even notice the effect the first time they watch it. So now that we know how to bring our AI generated videos to life with a few simple tricks, if you learned something today, make sure to like the video. And if you wanna see what I post moving forward, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.